What up, y'all? It's AG33, back with a video. And I just want to be as quick as I can, but today we talking about what we can learn from the DJ academic situation. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, just go look it up on his channel. He did a live stream about it, but basically what happened is uh, he had a girl come over while he was asleep. He was passed out drunk. He had got her Ubered over there, and she ended up you know, doing some things with, with her homies and he had cameras and house caught it all on camera. She went, got his house raided, talking about, you know, she got forced to do what she did, all type of stuff like that. But I just had to give you a quick summary just in case you didn't know. So there's a few things we can learn from this situation. And one of them is discipline. Like I seen in the comments on them videos, a lot of people were saying, man, you alcoholic, you need to, you need to get it straight. You need to get it straight. This wouldn't happen if you was an alcoholic. And he talks about how he drinks all the time, man. And I think that is one important thing, bro. A lot of, a lot of the problems that I had in my life was when I was drinking and doing drugs all the time. So if you, if you get a hold on that, bro, you're going to see a lot of the problems in your life go away. And when you live that lifestyle of partying and drinking uh, going out, going here and there, you're going to attract a lot of people around you who live that same lifestyle. And a lot of people who live those lifestyles, I'm, I'm not going to say everybody, but a lot of people's morals ain't right who live that lifestyle. They're just looking for the next way to party, how to get to this next big party. A lot of them are leeches. Yes, man. And if that's who you're surrounding yourself with, you're going to get the issues that come with that. So that's something you can learn, man, who you surround yourself with. You know, and, and when you're in those low energy environments uh, and you're drinking and doing stuff like that, those are the type of people that you're going to, you know, have come around. And then they ended up, you know, messing with the girl that he had come over. Like, that's supposed to be your homies. You know what I'm saying? Like, th those aren't friends. Like, you're talking about those your homies. But uh, and another thing is, like, the fact that them allegations uh, that she tried to put them allegations on him, like. You shouldn't even be putting yourself in no situation like that in the first place. So that's another thing that I'd be talking about on this channel is like the whole retention thing and di discipline, bro. Like it's a lot of dudes out here. And I've been thinking about this lately, speaking about this lately. Uh, just the fact that a lot of dudes out here, you could probably trace all of the trouble in their life back to them chasing after a female, chasing after pleasure. You know, like whether it's, they had a child too early, you know, chasing after pleasure, whether it's they they were uh, got locked up for selling drugs, which is a lot of times I had to run up this money so I can buy all this stuff. Like a lot of people will say, man, I had to because uh, I needed to, to, to live. But then what, what happens when you get excess past that? What are you going to do? Did you, did you stay low key? No, you, you started flexing. So then you can see why you start flexing. A lot of time it's for the females, man. Like you can trace a lot of issues back that people have back to the chase of pleasure and uh pretty much all that lead back to discipline bro just being disciplined and, and who you put yourself around and having a purpose in life you know what i'm saying those who lack purpose you know usually seek pleasure so i say all that to say like i said it before in previous videos Right now, I'm a, I set a goal of 90 days of I'm sober, no alcohol, no drinking. I'm trying to even quit the caffeine right now just because, like, I feel like I, I was getting too reliant on that. You know, I'm on retention. So it's like I'm staying away from all the things that can hijack my focus. Because when your uh, focus gets hijacked, man, that drain you of your creativity. And I need every ounce of creativity right now. So, yeah, just, just, that's a big lesson. That I hope all, all the young men that follow me, anybody, just men, period, even even if there's females, you know, just you got to watch who you put yourself around and make sure you stand true to your purpose. If if what you're doing does not contribute to your purpose, then you don't really need to be doing it all the time and be very careful when you do do these things. When you decide to go out, man, just know who you're around. Make sure you got your car situation straight, your driving situation straight. So you're not out here getting DUIs and all this, this little frivolous bullshit that you could really avoid just by being proactive. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just haphazardly do stuff. You, you got to plan it out. I try to plan everything out, make sure I know what's going on whenever I do something. Just just because I'm trying to make it back home, you know, and I don't really got too much to say on that subject. I might make a part two, but y'all know what it is, man. It's AG33.